Hey, and thanks for joining me on this quick review of the Ultimate Workout Tracker Notion template. Basically, this template is composed of two different pages. Here you have the main dashboard with linked views of all your main databases and databases that contain all the databases. Let's go have a look at the dashboard first. First of all, at the very top of the page, you will find your quarterly goals. This database is filtered by quarter, currently based on Q4 2023, but each time there's a new quarter, you can duplicate that view and update the filter. You can also assign different hubs to your goals. Here, it's bodybuilding, here it's cardio, here it's stretching. If you click on any goal here, you can see that there's a progress bar called completion. This is automatically calculated based on the initial value, the current value, and the target value. If your goal is to do 90 seconds dead hang, your target value is going to be 90. The initial value is the longest you've held the dead hang before, and the current value is where you're currently at. This gives us a completion of 94%. Then on the right of the page, you have today's session, which lets you quickly access today's workout session. Today we know we're going to work on packs. Beneath, you also have additional pages and databases that are not included in this dashboard. Basically bodybuilding, cardio, and stretching are the main databases for all the exercises. Body Tracker is where you track your body measurements, and Routines is where you write your pre- and post-workout routines. Now, for the main meat of the dashboard, the planner. You have different views, this month, this week, and past sessions. If we stay on this month's view, you can see all your workouts for the month. Today we said we're going to work on packs, so you just have to click here and you arrive on this page. All you you have to do is to add the exercises that you want to work on and add the current month. The muscles property is automatically triggered because it's a roll up. And then, thanks to self-referential filtering, you automatically retrieve the same exercises in a linked database. You have different views depending of the type of season. Today, it's workout. What's nice here is that you retrieve all the information like reps, sets, and rest that you don't have in the property. When you are at the gym, you can pull out your phone and go to this page. Each time you perform a new exercise, you can click the completed checkbox here. When you finished your session, you need to reset this page. To do that, thanks to a database automation, you just have to click the session finished button. It will automatically uncheck all these buttons. It also marks your session as finished, which is quite handy. Now if we go back to the dashboard, you have the monthly tracker. You add the number of sessions that you want to complete for each given month. In September 2023, I want to complete 15 sessions. Because this database is linked to the calendar, it retrieves the number OD sessions you already performed. So here, it knows you have currently done 12 sessions. So your completion is 80%. On the right here, you have your upcoming races and a calendar for all your races. This is to be used if you do some running, swimming, or cycling. You can input the date if you finished it, your time, and the hub it belongs to. Swimming, running, or cycling. At the very end, the last section is the resources. Any resource related to exercising, workouts, cardio, etc. you can add it here. You have different views. Here it's per type which is a view group per books, studies, videos, etc. You can also add articles, documentaries, podcasts, or anything you like. Here you can see all the ones that you want to consume so that you haven't read or seen yet. Here you can see all the ones you already consumed. What you can also do is, if you want to take notes, you can open this and take notes in the database page of this resource. That's it for the main dashboard. Now we're going to have a look at the databases page. You can find all the pages and databases inside of it if you click this down arrow in Notion's navigation bar. Here you have a quick link to go back to the dashboard. Then you have your hubs, your tracking, and others. 
If we start with hubs, we have three pages. Everything in bodybuilding, cardio, and stretching belongs to the same exercise database. But we added filtered views in each of these pages. Here you can find all your exercises. You can see that you can assign muscles and machines. You can put your reps, sets, rest, and demo link. You can also add comments that you'll be able to retrieve for your session. Here you can see all your exercises by muscle groups. Here by 1RM. If you input your current 1RM, it will automatically calculate all the other ones. Then here you can track your progression with your initial 1 rep max and your current 1 rep max and the corresponding dates. Same thing for max reps for each exercise. It will give you your max reps progression or your 1RM progression. Finally, is the images view, which I found to be quite handy. Images help you understand how each exercise is supposed to be performed. This is very handy when you're at the gym. Whenever you want to remember how the movement is supposed to be pre-operally done, you can input the image in the database page and it will automatically show up here. Now, we go to the cardio page where you have run, cycling, and swim views. These are more basic views, but you can input your best time, your last recorded time, and comments. For each of them, you can input different distances or types of sessions. Then you have stretching, which is similar to bodybuilding. You can select which muscles it acts on, reps, sets, time, and demo videos or comments. If we go back to databases, we find the tracking section. We've already seen calendar, monthly tracker, and goals in the main dashboard. What we haven't seen yet is the body tracker. Here, you can basically record measurements of your body such as weight, chest measurement, neck measurement, etc. You just have to input the date here. The name would be the current month, and you can add your measurements here. The database is sorted by measurement date descending, which displays the new ones at the beginning. Here you can see that your weight went from 120 kilos to 90 kilos from July to August. This is a nice way to track everything and to know what's happening. Finally, you have your races and competitions resources. What we haven't seen is routines. Routines is a very simple page, without any database, where you just need to write your process. Just write down your routine for pre-workout, post-workout, and any others that you want to include. For example, you maybe have different routines for cardio and bodybuilding. Okay, I think that's it for the review of the template. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Have a lovely Notion day.